All right, folks, welcome to another day with Mr. Flores in the art classroom. Today we are painting with coffee. So just a little tip, um, you do need to use instant coffee only. Uh, regular coffee doesn't work as well. And I found out that using the instant coffee from the Dollar Tree is probably the best bet. And so what I'm gonna do is just give you a little bit of coffee grounds, and but you're gonna get it into your little painter's palette. Then I want you to write three squares or draw three squares and label them dark, medium, and light. Today's supplies, you will need, of course, your coffee, a little plate to put your coffee grounds or coffee grinds in, a paintbrush, some water, and a rag to clean your brush. All right, today we are learning about monochromatic. We learned that coffee paintings are monochromatic using only one color, but different tints, tones, and shades of that one color. So let's try to make dark, medium, and light coffee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of water, put it in my paintbrush, and then sort of see what happens when I start mixing that in. And I just mix it in a little bit by a little bit. And I'm gonna put a little bit of coffee grounds in this first little square to see what I can come up with. I'm gonna get a little bit more water and then keep on adding till I get a nice dark coffee that I want. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you guys can see what happens. All right, I like the way that came out. That's come out nice and dark. If you noticed, I put more coffee grounds, or sorry, grinds and less water. Um, so I'm trying to make the darkest. So I'm trying to make a value of dark, medium, and light. So let me go ahead and put that down and see what happens. And now I have my first layer. You'll notice that coffee is comes out clear. Um, and so we want to make, make it that nice and dark. So I probably want to just get a little bit of more coffee grounds and just apply them directly on there and let that water and coffee do its work. And now I have that nice dark shade. All right, and now let's try to do a medium shade. And it's okay, you don't have to do the whole entire box. You can if you like. And don't worry if you can't get this just perfect. Again, this is all just practice. And so I want you to make that dark, medium, and light like I was telling you about. See this darkness right here? And that's exactly what we're going for. Nice, dark coffee. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so you can see how I do medium and light. All right, folks, that's the consistency that I was looking for. I have my dark, medium, and light all using the same color of coffee. And you'll notice that I added less coffee and more water, just about a medium amount, and more coffee grinds and less water to make it dark. Now let's try to experiment a little bit more. I want you to do this next one. I want you to draw a rectangle um, vertical and we're gonna call it graded wash. It's called graded wash because we wanna to try to make it from dark to light, just using the one brush going all the way down. And so let's go ahead and get some coffee grounds. I'm gonna add some water to my coffee grounds. And what I'm gonna get is my paintbrush full of water. And I'm gonna use up all the water that's in my paintbrush. So what I'm gonna do is just go downward and I'm going to try to go where it gets lighter and lighter and I'm going to add a little bit of more water into my paintbrush to get that over any leftover paint or any leftover coffee that's in my paintbrush there I like how that's coming out I have that nice transition from dark to light and that's called a graded wash because you're gradually going from dark to light in just one paint stroke all right now I want you to try something else. This one is called drop color on wet color. What happens if we do like maybe a medium or maybe a light? I'm going to make a light on here. Now, now that I have, uh, again, this is called drop color on wet color because it's, it's a wet color on there and it's a light color, all right? Now what happens if I drop little bits of maybe coffee grounds onto that wet and see what happens. See how those little marks, it almost looks like little starlights. You can see it eventually just kind of like growing 
and I'm putting like little bits of coffee grounds onto that wet color and we get this cool little effect going on. All right. Now that we experimented going with dark, medium, and light, now I want you to kind of color on your own. What can you make up? What can you draw and color with coffee now that you experimented? Um, I want you to notice that I did put dark, medium, and light into my palette. Go ahead and see if you can try to do that as well. If you don't like the way it came out, don't worry. This is all just practice. You can use these other little palette trays in order to make your dark, medium, and light. All right, folks, I can't wait to see how all these come out.